This study is for patients who have advanced stage bile duct cancer. They've had first-line standard chemotherapy. They do not have any other standard second-line therapy. If you look at the phase three study that have, has evaluated the frontline therapy in patients with advanced bile duct cancer, the median survival is a little short of a year. So, which means more than half of the patients will need to have additional therapy um, within a year. This study is trying to bring immune therapy into the treatment of bile duct cancer with the hope that we will produce durable response in a select, selected group of patients. First, we will treat patients with pegylated inferin for a week. Then we add anti-PD-1 Keytruda treatment and the combination will go on for 12 weeks. Then we will stop the pegylated interferon. Patient will continue to receive Keytruda treatment. The primary objective of this uh, study is to really evaluate the response rate of this combination uh, in terms of tumor shrinkage. We believe cancer uh, is evade the immune attack by making this protein called PDL1 on the surface of the cancer cell it cells. It binds to this molecule called PD1 on the immune cells. The interaction between PDL1 and PD1 prevent the activation of the T cell to attack the tumor cells. So we believe this mechanism probably ex uh, exists as a tumor invasion mechanism in about 20% of bile duct cancer patients. We hope to improve the response rate to a higher, to higher rate than 20%. It's important to work as a group, as a team, especially in a disease that's relatively rare. So a multi-centered study in bile duct cancer will help to enroll patient in, in a disease that's not very common and that will help us to complete the enrollment sooner so we can have the results sooner to uh, develop the next study. This clinical trial is a phase two study evaluating the efficacy, safety, and tolerability of combining Keytruda and peginterferon alpha 2b in patients with advanced bile duct cancer, also known as cholangiocarcinoma. There is no recognized treatment for patients with this sort of cancer who have progressed after receiving at least one round of prior therapy. Keytruda is an immune therapy. It attempts to turn off a cancer cell's ability to hide from your body's own immune system. Keytruda allows the human immune system to recognize and kill cancer cells. Peg interferon alpha 2b is another kind of therapy that helps your body's immune system recognize and kill tumor cells. Researchers will study if giving Keytruda with peginterferon alpha 2b will help the body's immune system fight cancer. This study will allow researchers to know whether this combination is better, the same, or worse than the usual approach. The use of Keytruda with peginterferon alpha 2b in this setting is investigational. This means the combination has not been approved by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration to treat your type of cancer. This clinical trial will have one study group. All participants will receive Keytruda plus peg interferon alpha 2b. To be eligible for this study, you must have cholangiocarcinoma and have received prior treatment for your cancer. There are other criteria that must be met to be eligible for this study. Talk to your doctor to learn more. To learn more about this clinical trial, visit www.hoosiercancer.org and choose Current Trials from the Clinical Trials Navigation tab.